I can probably uh, talk from the organization's point of view. The first point I'd make is that in many ways it's not a change. Uh, we're about 47 years old and uh, as you'll probably know with Walmart, our background is about selling products for less and to do that you have to be very passionate about taking cost out of your business. Now that means developing an efficient supply chain, it means cutting out waste whenever you can. So many of the things that are labelled as sustainability, we'd argue we've been doing for a long, long time. Having said that, I think three basic reasons for, uh, for our business for being involved in sustainability. The first is about personal choice. And uh, I've got a young family, I'm very concerned about you know, what the world might look like when they grow up. And I'm lucky enough to be in a position where I can do something about that. And I choose to do that. The second is that generally it makes good business sense. And uh, contrary to popular belief, uh, I hardly sign any initiatives off that don't give a return. And if we can put initiatives in place which save money, then we can pass that on to customers. And saving people money is really what Walmart does. And then the final reason is about size. And there are lots of times where it isn't the most uh, enjoyable thing to work for the world's biggest business. A lot of people don't like big. They're very suspicious of big. And sustainability is probably the one area that we've found where big is good. Because in terms of our reach globally and the size of our business, we can have an impact in this area that many smaller businesses, quite frankly, can't. I think one of the toughest things is getting to the facts. In the UK, we did a great initiative where we moved all of our sourcing of tomatoes to local country. And uh, one of the things we wanted to do in the communication was then to talk about the carbon impact. And what we found was actually the carbon impact was worse than sourcing from, from southern Europe, where the, it's hotter. Because in the UK, uh, colder climate, you need greenhousing that has a bigger effect. And in many of the debates, whether it be high streets or big out of town stores, there aren't a lot of facts to say what is the right or wrong answer. If you stop trying to get to the perfect answer and just work on the premise that anything you do that improves things is worth doing, then life gets a lot easier.